versus night. Which is the better time to shrimp? I guess whenever you can, really. But in this episode, we hit them both, day and the night. We started off going at night. We went back to our friend's uh, place where they were shrimping last year, a uh, nice little dock uh, along the river. And we started setting up, got ready for shrimping at the night. We heard a lot of good reports about them catching shrimp in the area, you know, at night along the docks and stuff like that. So we were hoping to be good. Once night came, you know, we chummed up, threw the chum balls in the water, threw some pellets, uh, let it sit and ready to go. And uh, we started casting, kind of seeing what was out there. But uh, we weren't pulling in a whole lot. I mean, the shrimp were pretty decent size. I mean, they, they look good, but just not a lot of numbers. So, you know, we did that for a few hours, just kind of hitting them, letting it sit, seeing if they would move in. But unfortunately, um, not a whole lot went down. So the next week we came back, but this time during the day and by boat. We launched our boat just across the river um, along this little ramp and kind of put put it out. You see in this spot there's a, a ledge that drops down. You're in about five feet of water coming out from the ramp and all of a sudden it starts dropping down, you know, basically about 23 feet. Pretty good little ledge. And it's a popular spot to shrimp. When we went there in the morning, there's just maybe a couple boats there but by the afternoon it was packed. You see, um, in the morning we started out shrimping shallow. Kind of makes sense, right? Because at night the shrimp come up to feed, which is why you can catch them off a dock or off the shore or something like that. So we get there, you know, right as the sun's coming up. So they're all theoretically coming out from the shallow water down to the deep water. And that's what we noticed. In the morning we were catching them six, eight, ten feet of water, right where it started to drop off. It's kind of like deadliest catch, you know, fishing with a rod, trying to catch something. You're just kind of prospecting, you know, you find a good bottom. And sometimes you can mark them on your recorder, but you just kind of throw. And if you catch them, you work that area. If not, you kind of move deeper, shallower, try to find them, maybe up and down a little bit. As the day went on though, they got deeper. We started going to 15, 16, 20, all the way up to about 23 feet of water. Kind of working back and forth. Some people anchor, um, we just kind of move the boat around. You know, the current usually isn't too bad, but we'll just kind of work an area when we find a spot that's good, we'll kind of stick around that and, and cast it. We took turns casting, sometimes I would cast, sometimes my dad would cast. You know, your shoulders get a pretty good workout when you're shrimping. And we were there for, I don't know, maybe about four hours or so, four-ish, uh, shrimping. We weren't getting a whole lot, maybe 10 or 15 to a cast, typically. But they were good sized shrimp. And over time we started building up, you know, getting a good mess of them. It's kind of funny, right towards the end, maybe when we just had a little bit left of our bucket that we could catch, we started pulling in good numbers. My dad was getting maybe 30 or so to the cast. It was kind of ironic when we were almost done, then we started loading up. If we could have got that in the morning, then we'd have, we'd have caught them pretty quick. But it was pretty cool. You know, it was nice to kind of find them once we got on the spot, you know, we tried to work that area and just keep hitting them. We're using, uh, I think our nets were uh, about eight feet. We had a couple, maybe seven, eight feet. We taped the bottom so they would stay flared out. Probably about, I don't know, 30, 35 feet of rope. Make sure you let it get to the bottom because, you know, if you put any kind of resistance as it's going down, you'll start to close it up. So, you know, let it sink. Once we let it sink, you know, whether it was daytime or nighttime, we would kind of slowly work it in at first. That way it would kind of drag on the bottom and pull the shrimp up. You just kind of just pull it up fast and it just lifts and doesn't really scoop everything up off the bottom, all the shrimp. So kind of slowly ease it in at first, bringing it in, letting that scoop up all the shrimp, that cast net. Well, in this particular case, the daytime was better. At least it worked better for us. Gave us some mobility and I don't know, it was a week later, the shrimp just may have been there better that week. 
you never know. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Learned some tips between day shrimping and night shrimping and just a few little tactics to help you whichever you choose. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.